this billionaire trader says about Bitcoin. Hi, it's Charlie giving you Saturday's video. I hope you're very well. And in the week this week, uh, Paul Tudor Jones, who is one of the world's most famous fund managers and uh, and traders, uh, billionaire fund manager has been around uh, for since the, oh, crikey, he actually started in the 70s, I believe. And um, obviously featured in the original Market Wizards books. And if you haven't read the Market Wizards, then you really should, because even though that first book, which came out in about 88 or so, um, you'd think, oh, no, there's no point in me reading that. Um, it's still just as relevant today with all of those interviews as it is um, as it was back then. So I would encourage you to watch that. Anyway, so Paul Tudor Jones has come out this week. He was on CNBC saying that if the Fed uh, continue with their with what is expected, which is to start um, tightening monetary policy with both um, reducing and eliminating their bond pur uh, purchases and um, and starting to hike interest rates, then there are certain markets which really benefited during the pandemic, um, won't benefit and will underperform um, going forwards over the next couple of years or so. And actually commodities um, could well outperform. So what he was saying was the likes of, you know, your cryptocurrencies, which he was a very much an advocate of, um, could well suffer um, in this next cycle that may well be coming ahead. And so um, I think it's worth our while. I think you should always um, listen when you have um, very, very prominent um, um, global investors such as Paul Tudor Jones um, is ever interviewed. Um, because there's always nuggets of information that are useful there. So the likes of, I've just got the Bitcoin chart up here, I've got a weekly chart up. So we know that Bitcoin's been coming off. But the, funny enough, I was just looking at the leverage ratios and there's still a huge amount of leverage um, in um, Bitcoin and other cryptos. So leverage players are still very active at the moment. And so now, part of that might be just because um, the amount of money that's flowing into ETFs, because that comes into the leverage figures now. But nevertheless, um, there's a lot of uh, leverage money in um, in Bitcoin and in, in the crypto. So, crypto space. So, I think what's, what I would like to see um, is um, maybe just for, I mean, all, all right, um, Bitcoin's been coming down since November anyway. Um, but there's still a huge amount of belief out there um, amongst the, the wider community. And I'm not talking about the people who really have invested their time and knowledge and um, into learning properly about these markets. I'm talking about the people who have downloaded a phone app and, have, you know, they go to work every day and with their work colleagues, they say, oh, I'm going to buy this today or buy that. And as various different... Uh, coins are jumping up and down by 20% in a day or whatever. I'm talking about that, those sorts of people that the market really needs to clear out. And so I think ideally, uh, if we looked at uh, Bitcoin, it either carries on generally coming down or ends, ends up in some sort of trading range for, you know, for a year or, or whatever, because it will bore them out. It will bore them out of the market. And then the market at some point can then start going higher again. So um, my preference would be that. I know there's all sorts of uh, predictions for uh, Bitcoin and where it might be going, but um, but certainly there's enough time considering when the next halving is coming in um, between now and then um, that Bitcoin could um, underperform. So just um, taking that on the back on the back of what Paul Tudor Jones has just said this this just this last week. So. Um, and even if you look at it technically here, if we look at it on the uh, the weekly chart, we made a double top back, uh, obviously, into November from the prior highs um, earlier last year. And, and, and we've come off, and um, but we're below that key weekly move 50-period uh, moving average now. The 20, my blue moving average, is starting to roll over. So do watch out for this. I think if Bitcoin can get um, a strong close back above both of these moving averages, then away we go. Otherwise, all the time it's trading below, then um, it's under pressure. And so, um, and then obviously we have other targets for Bitcoin to potentially come work our way down to. So um, on that basis. Now, he wasn't just talking about cryptocurrencies. He was also talking about the stock markets. If we go to the likes of the S&P, and if we put this onto a daily chart, 
doesn't look too bad, does it, um, on the daily chart? So it's pulled back a little bit, but it um, doesn't look too bad at the moment. But but again, um, he's talked about the, the stock markets and, and quite, ob quite I say obviously, but um, um, if interest rates start rising, then, um, then the stock markets um, could underperform a little bit there as well. Bearing in mind, like he said, they are very highly overvalued at the moment anyway. So, um, so maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see. But the, the, the thing is when someone like him talks, he's not making a prediction for right now, necessarily. He's saying that if, as that cycle, um, within the Federal Reserve starts to come through, then um, stocks um, are more likely to underperform and other asset classes. And then looking out to commodities that they could they could outperform. So it's not a prediction for right now, um, but it looks like the Federal Reserve, it's pretty much priced in that the Federal Reserve will go live in March with their first interest rate hike. But, um, but you know, things change by the, um, by the week it seems so do watch out do keep an eye out for the um, on the stock market there are some um, signs of, of um, topping signs in the stock market with the uh, divergences that are there on the weekly chart as we can see here but at the same time you have to pay, put it into the context of this is a very very strong uh, bull market as well so um, it is very strong so if you're going to short it then obviously respect your risk management and all of that type of thing but um, but I thought it was an interesting um, interview this week from Paul Tudor Jones and his views that actually now we're coming out the other side of the pandemic the the markets that ben benefited during the pandemic may not benefit as much going forwards over the next couple of years take care for now I shall see you next week